हेलो माय नेम इज सोनाली चोपड़ा वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एज सुन एज अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इन वन कॉर्नर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सबसाइड्स द स्पार्क ऑफ डिवीजन इग्नाइट्स इन अनदर द इसराइल हमास कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इन पर्टिकुलर प्रेजेंट्स न्यू डेवलपमेंट स्टेरी द वर्ल्ड स्टैंड डिवाइडेड वाइल मेनी नेशन सपोर्ट इसराइल न्यूमरस अदर्स कॉन्डेम इट्स एक्शंस Recently the Maldives and Israel have found themselves in a diplomatic tussle. The Maldivian government has announced a ban on the entry of Israelis into the country. This includes amending laws to prevent Israeli passport holders from entering and establishing a subcommittee to oversee this process. In response, Israel has urged its citizens to leave the Maldives and suggested they relocate to India's coastal areas. This situation raises critical questions. Why has the Maldives taken this step against Israel and what impact will this diplomatic rift have on India In this episode we will explore the answers to these questions but first let us delve into the history of Israel Maldives relations The Maldives an archipelago in the Indian Ocean translates to a garland of lambs Since gaining independence from Britain in 1965 it transitioned from a monarchy to a republic in 1968 Renowned for its stunning beauty, the Maldives is now the center of a diplomatic controversy. Recently, the Maldivian government announced a ban on Israeli passport holders. Although the implementation date remains unclear, this decision has sparked significant controversy. Israel swiftly responded, advising its citizens to leave the Maldives. The diplomatic history between the Maldives and Israel dates back to 1965. However, relations soured in 1974 and only began to improve in the 1990s, allowing Israelis to visit the Maldives and raising hopes for normalization. Yet, in 2012, relations deteriorated once more. The 2023 Israel-Hamas conflict further strained ties, extinguishing hopes of reconciliation. Despite the tensions, Israeli tourism has flourished in the Maldives with over 15,000 Israeli tourists visiting last year. Amid the current diplomatic dispute, Israel has encouraged its citizens to explore Indian coastal destinations such as Goa, Kerala, Lakshadweep, and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. In doing so, Israel has inadvertently promoted India's tourism sector. Looking back, we can see that the formation of a new government in the Maldives brought a significant shift in its foreign policy, deeply affecting its relations with India. Once a steadfast ally of India, the Maldives began aligning more closely with China. While diplomatic language often highlights the long-standing friendship between India and the Maldives, the reality is that increasing ties with China have strained their relationship. The Maldives strategic importance cannot be overstated. Its location in the Indian Ocean positions it as a critical toll gate for maritime routes. Two major sea lanes of communication run through the northern and southern parts of this island chain, vital for trade between the Gulf of Aden and the Gulf of Hormuz in West Asia and the Strait of Malacca in Southeast Asia. Additionally, oil imports from the Gulf countries pass through these routes. further emphasizing the Maldives strategic significance when examining india's relations with israel it becomes clear that the indian government is adeptly balancing its west asia policy in alignment with national interest over recent years bilateral trade between the two countries has seen substantial growth india is now israel's third largest trading partner in asia and the seventh largest globally Israeli companies have made significant investments in India across various sectors such as energy, renewable energy, telecommunications, real estate and water technology. Moreover, they are increasingly focusing on establishing research and development centers and production units in India, further strengthening the economic ties between the two nations. In light of the current dispute between Israel and the Maldives, it is evident that the appeal of Indian shores has significantly diminished the flow of tourists to the Maldives. This shift has now created new opportunities for India's tourism sector. Now is the turn of this week's Sunday special episode in which we will talk about some other international news. Recently, the Ministry of Commerce released a report indicating that the Netherlands has become India's third largest export market after the US and the UAE for the year 2023-24. 
The report highlights significant growth in areas such as petroleum products, electrical goods, chemicals, and pharmaceuticals. Notably, oil products were the most important, with exports valued at $14.29 billion in the last financial year. In the ongoing Israel-Hamas conflict in the Middle East, countries worldwide are divided into different camps. While many nations stand with Israel, others oppose its actions. Recently, Slovenia recognized the Palestinian state with its parliament voting overwhelmingly in favor of this move. This decision follows similar recognitions by Spain, Norway, and Ireland. However, Israel has strongly condemned Slovenia's decision. Hong Kong has launched Asia's first spot Bitcoin and Ether exchange credit funds, positioning itself as a leading hub for virtual asset investment in the region. These ETFs can be traded in Hong Kong dollars, US dollars, and Chinese yuan. The introduction of these ETFs in Hong Kong may inspire other countries to approve similar cryptocurrency ETFs, fostering greater adoption and integration of digital assets. So that's all in today's episode. See you in the next episode. But before that, let's note down a question based on today's story. Israel-Maldives confrontation is a boon for Indian tourism sector. Discuss. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.